The Jets were in Cleveland. Rob Ryan and Rex Ryan together. Rarick Mangini used to coach the Jets. Rex Ryan took over after Mangini was fired. The Browns coming off a big win over the Patriots and the Saints. And look who's running downhill again. Uh, this is the new beast in the league. Peyton Hill. Zonka. Peyton Hill. Knock off Zonka. Well, he fumbled early and then made up for it, scoring on the Jets' defense as the uh, Browns did early and often. It's 13-10 Browns right before the half when Mark Sanchez makes a nifty move to move the Jets in front right at halftime and then they opened up the second half with a monster 19 play 10 minute drive that they had to settle a field goal for at the end of it and then Nick Folk mm -hmm. folks it right off yeah. of the uh, I like that I like that I like that and that was the second miss of the game Mangini breathes a sigh of relief the Jets are still only up by four I don't Blame know if the it's, I don't know if it's, it's not the equipment Blame the shoe. might be operator error 2013 the Jets are up after Folk does kick a field goal later on with a minute and a oh. half to go you gotta love this young Colt McCoy. McCoy leads the Browns down the field in a must-have two-minute drill capped off by a Muhammad Massaqua touchdown with 44 ticks to go. Nice big drill. I love this team. This Browns team is fighting out, beating good teams every week. And for the second straight week, the Jets on the road in overtime. They won the toss last week and won it in Detroit right away. This time they win the toss, and the Browns get the ball only to have oh, Chancey Stuckey put the ball on the ground just as they were nearing field goal range. And what a crushing, crushing turnover. He doesn't step out of bounds. And God, he wish he would have. Drew Coleman is the one who strips it away. The must be on Drew Coleman. And Antonio Cromartie recovers it. So the Jets get the ball back. And what do they do with it? They move it down the field. Third and nine. Sanchez. Three man rush. By and time, not only once, but twice. Chancey. Uh, Stucky fumbled the ball, and look oh. who makes up for the Jericho Cotchery for the Jets yeah, over the middle. He blows a tire. Like groin. He's full blew a tire. Just keep playing. A oh, beautiful I kick. like that. What a play. That's determination. I set up Nick Folk for the winner, and he, he folks it right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness All right. Keep playing. Keep playing. They have to. Browns would punt. Another chance for the Jets. Third and 14 from their own 46. Sanchez with a rush. minute 44 to go. This worked in Denver to hold, throw it up, hope for the best. This time, Joe Hayden picks it off, and that's a crucial, crucial interception, not because it stops the Jets' drive, but it sets up the Browns deep in their own end instead of batting it down and perhaps getting better field position. So the Jets get the Browns to go three and out, and this happens with 16 ticks to go. Santonio San Holmes back in Ohio with a big walk-off win for the Jets. Shocking Rob Ryan and the game Cleveland Browns. It is the first time a team has ever won back-to-back -back overtime games on the road in consecutive weeks in NFL history. And in so doing, San Antonio Holmes posts the third latest walk-off touchdown in the history of regular season overtime. Jason Lockenfora with the hero after. Santonio, San walk me through that last play. It was all a big blur from where I was standing. Oh, man. Things happen so fast, man. When Mark threw that ball, he told me, just stick with him on the sideline, and we'll make something happen. I told him, just believe in me. You know, when it comes down to these situations, this is when big-time players step up and make big plays in games. And I told him, just give me the ball. Whenever you give it to me, he gave me the right signal. We ran the right play. And those guys, they messed up. They gave me a chance.